This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by storyblocks.com. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a dynamic grid transition in After Effects without using any plugins. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started with this tutorial. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080. And let's go with 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. I'll call this render as our main render comp and hit OK. Then let's create placeholders for our images. So I'm going to call this M underscore O1, that is media underscore O1. You can, of course, rename it to anything that you want. I'm going to hit OK and hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid. Hit OK, go into effects and presets and let's add a fill. In order to add a fill color, I will be using this as a placeholder just so that, you know, we can use different colors and see it. And later on, we can add on our images or videos, what, whatever that we want to add into this. So for now, I'm just going to keep it at a black solid or basically a solid with a color. And then I want to add 15 copies of this that is 15 placeholders for 15 different images or videos whatever that you want to use so i'm going to hit ctrl d and just duplicate it like this till we have 15 placeholders i can select them all and drag it into a new folder let's call this placeholders just to be a bit more precise and then i'm going to create a new composition now this comp is going to be a strip that moves up and down during the transition so i'm gonna call this roll underscore o1 and i'm gonna unlink this and change the height to five times the placeholder so right now we are using 1920 by 1080 so i'm gonna type in 1080 into five and if i click away so it has already calculated the height and i'm gonna hit ok there we go so now i can select my placeholders and drag them in so i'm going to select my five placeholders let's drag them in like so i'm going to select the first one and move this to the top like that select the second one and then drag it and snap it right here now make sure your snapping tool is turned on so it snaps in properly i'm going to select the fourth one let's snap it here and select the fifth one and let's snap this at the bottom there we go now i'll jump into the second one and let's basically set this to any other color but of course you can add your images as well on the go but for now i'm just gonna use a different color all right and let's go into the fourth one let's change this to maybe something like a green and let's go into fifth one let's change it to something like an orange color all right let's go back to roll one and now you can see we have our placeholders ready now in the same way i have to create more two rolls so i'm going to hit ctrl d two times so we have roll two and roll three and basically what i'm going to do is select the roll to open that up select my placeholders and replace them with the remaining ones so on the first one i'm going to drag and drop in the sixth one so i'm going to hold alt and drag and drop it to replace it select the second one add the seventh one on that select third one add the eighth one on this fourth one let's add the ninth one and finally the tenth one on this one and same way i'm going to do this for the roll three as well so i'm going to open the roll three there we go we are ready to roll now we can go into each one of them and change the colors basically So now are all the three rolls are ready. Let's select all the three of them and drag it into our main render com. Let's close them up. Now, before I proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you about today's sponsor Storyblocks. As an editor, how much time have you wasted looking for that perfect video clip? 
or maybe that perfect music for your videos or a simple graphic animation. As an editor, don't you wish there was a simple and affordable way to find the clips and graphics for your projects? What if I told you there is? There is Storyblocks. Storyblocks offers thousands of studio quality and royalty-free stock video clips, After Effects templates, motion graphics backgrounds, intros and so much more. Everything is royalty free so you can use it for your commercial projects or for your old YouTube videos which is super awesome. Storyblocks offers affordable subscription plans that scale to meet your needs and a new video editing tool called Maker. I use Storyblocks myself for my client projects because with their unlimited all access plan, I can download unlimited assets and use Maker and I only have to pay a single price per year. So go ahead and check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions or click the first link in the description below. So this is our first one. Let's put it on the top and let's change the layer color to something like a red. So we know that it's a, it's a different role and it's a main role or main image placeholder. Then I'm going to hold shift and drag this down. So only our second placeholder is visible. So I'm going to make sure I hold shift and drag it like so maybe use my arrow keys to just be a bit more precise and then I'm going to turn on my title action save select the pan behind tool and make sure you move the anchor point into the center by holding shift so it's, it can just snap in like that all right so we can just zoom in to be a bit more precise all right let's turn this off now what I'm going to do is select the second one that is the roll tool let's move this out and let's snap it right over here somewhere like that and select the roll three and snap it right over here like so all right then let's parent both the two composition then let's select these two composition and parent them to the roll one and if you don't see this parent option you can right click here in this small um, area that you see right click go into columns and turn on parent and link so i'm going to select this hit s go to around one second create a keyframe go to two seconds and let's scale this down to around 33 percent so we get this kind of a look maybe 34 33 is a bit too much or maybe 33.5 all right that looks much better and also i'm going to select these two let's pull this down like so we somewhere around there there we go so basically we have this really nice zoom out animation then i'm going to go right over here let's select these two composition hit ctrl shift d to split them up and pull them on the top like that let's unlink this so i'm going to set this to none and then i'm going to select this one hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go to three seconds and let's switch this like so you know you can also use the align tool if you want to and then go right back here select these two composition or i can just simply parent the roll three to roll two select the roll two hit p create a keyframe go back and let's pull this down like so and then again we need to select these two composition and this one as well hit ctrl shift d to duplicate it pull them out uh, on the top like so all right and then let's set this to none and actually parent them back again to roll one like so select the roll one select the pan behind tool and this time i'm gonna move the anchor point right over here into the center i'm gonna turn on the title action save just to be a bit more precise so i'll just move this there we go all right and then hit s create a keyframe on the scale i can get rid of these keyframes create a new keyframe go to four second and let's scale this up to 100 and also i need to adjust the position a bit so that we don't get any kind of weird edges so i'm going to select the layer hit p and get rid of this keyframes create a new keyframe hit u so we can see the scale as well go right here and let's adjust the position a bit and boom so now we have the zoom out the roll and the zoom in pretty cool 
Now at the moment our transition, our animation of the transition looks pretty stiff and lame. So to make it look a bit more interesting, we will be tweaking the keyframes using the graph editor. But an easy way here is to use a free script that is keyframe wingman, which comes with animation composer. It is absolutely free and this is not a sponsored video by them, but it's free and I use it personally. So let's use this after you install the animation composer, you can find it under windows animation composer keyframe wingman again it's absolutely free and i have mentioned the link in the description below so you can go ahead and download it let's select all the layers hit u select all the keyframes and set this to around 85 and boom now let's check out our animation pretty sweet so there we go our amazing transition is ready now all we have to do is add our images or our videos whatever that we want to add and we are good to go so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this great transition tutorial in after effects and if you enjoyed it do let me know in the comment section below and also like this video and if you are watching my video for the very first time make sure you hit that subscribe button and also press that bell notification so you always get notified whenever i post a new video with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out